Welcome to the Four Elements of Leadership series. And in this episode, we're going to look at the fourth element of leadership, which is all around earth or order. My name's Chris Andreo. Welcome to Inner Summit. The fourth element of leadership is all around earth. When you think of earth, what you see is order. For example, you see a plant in the soil and the plant reaches up to the sun and everything has its place and its timing to maximize the outcome of what is needed, in this case, a plant. And so it is with this fourth element of leadership that successful leaders have understood that it's not just about character, passion, or understanding the culture within the team or company. It is also about having the right systems and infrastructures in place which releases the talent within the organisation. Have you ever worked in an environment which is too bureaucratic? There is too much red tape and it chokes out the creativity within an organisation. People begin to get to the stage where their level of engagement begins to run thin and eroded and eventually you lose talent and people rebel or quit. Or at the minimum, people just check in and check out in their job. They no longer use their talent to propel the organisation to meet the vision and use creativity and innovation to come up with new ideas to improve things. And this is all because of the systems within a company. So within your organisation and within my organisation, what do we do? Do we put in systems which, which restrict our talent which restrict the people within our teams? Or do we look at a different way of doing things? Let me give you an analogy, that of football or soccer. The football pitch has parameters in place. People know how they play the game. But the idea is for the 22 people on that pitch to use all of their talent to create an exciting game. The referee's role is to keep the flow of the game going. If the referee was too restrictive, too directive, and kept on pulling out yellow cards or red cards, or kept on blowing the whistle, stopping the play, what would happen to that game? It wouldn't be enjoyable. The referee would be too controlling and too restrictive in what he's imposing on the team. Remember, the referee's responsibility is to keep the flow of the game going. If someone does play outside of the parameters, it is appropriate for the system to show a yellow or red card. And that's what the referee will do. However, their main aim is to maintain the excitement of the game and the passion and talent of the individuals to score goals. And so it is within your organisation and my organisation. We've got to put systems in place which measures outcomes, not what people are doing at a specific time. Very recently, Netflix and Virgin introduced a system which radicalised how we do holidays. Usually what you get is people have to do holidays at a certain time with a certain number of days, but not Netflix or Virgin. They've introduced this new system, which is their team can have as much holiday as they want. Talk about radicalising a new system of empowering people to take ownership of what they do. And sure enough, what these two organisations have found is that people do not mess around with those parameters. They actually empower them to do more work, more productivity, and the outcome is maintained at a high level. Yes, if people played outside and began to uh, abuse that system, there would be a red card. But Netflix and Virgin have introduced an unlimited amount of holidays. And it has been shown that on average, the whole team within those companies are taking about the same amount of holidays as they would with a more controlled bureaucratic system of checking in your holidays and checking out. So this encouragement for us as the fourth element of leadership about putting systems in place is about us thinking differently. We need to come away from the whole industrial age 
mindset of control and putting in things which will um, minimize people's productivity but get an outcome. And we've got to move it towards introducing a new way of thinking where people feel like they're trusted and they have that autonomy to do their work and also use their talent and their skill set to the maximum. So hopefully you found this episode useful and gives you some ideas of when you next go into your workplace to think about doing things in a different way and aligning your systems to empower your team, not restrict them. I look forward to seeing you in another episode where we begin to look at the four facets of this whole element of order within leadership. Bye for now. Hi, if you've really enjoyed these leadership videos, then why don't you go and subscribe here? Go on, I know you want to.